Currently in the United States, there's about 10,000 black students who enter college with the aspirations or the intentions of graduating uh, with an engineering degree. But 46 years later, uh, the number of, of African American students who actually obtain an engineering degree is somewhere around 3,300. We engaged with Nesby in 2007. I, uh, we have a program called A World in Motion which has reached millions of students across the country. But one of the challenges that I had as the manager of the program at that time was reaching out and reaching into underserved communities. When I met Carl Mack, who's the executive director of Nesby, uh, we got together and realized that they had the access and we had the curriculum and the way to inspire with, with uh, activities. A lot of other programs in the area are either strictly play or strictly work. And the ones that are strictly play, you know, uh, they let the kids, you know, I guess ex expire the energy that they have in them, but they really don't develop anything. Um, and the ones that are strictly academic, a lot of them will have prior criteria, where a seat goes in without, accepts any kid without any precondition. And, um, and basically what it allows is to take the kids who are in the back of the group and allow them to understand that they can, can be in the front of the group. You know, it gives them that hope, which a lot of other programs in this area don't do. This summer, I... We made our glider and the jet toy and the gravity cruiser. Every day we would switch, so it would be test one, test two, um, facilities or project engineer. To have African American college engineering students to teach these children, there is a magic and a chemistry there that you just can't bottle, you just can't create. And I think without question, it is the difference maker and what makes our summer engineering experience for kids such a phenomenal program. Mm -hmm.